allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And if we could remain standing as we always do and remember our men and women in the armed forces, if we could remember those affected, infected by COVID, and uh, David Love, retired police officer, Victor Gonzalez, died way too young. And Patricia Walter. Thank you. Do we have anyone to speak on public um, public comment on agenda items? Okay. Uh, yeah. Sorry for your loss. I just found out that you had a chance. Thank you. And, and, you know, it's hard to do certain things sometimes, but you know what? It certainly is. Thank you. When, when, you're, when you're straight as an arrow and you, and you try to be, you try to take all the best interests of this town involved, I'll reserve my comments for the next meeting. Um, you can, you uh, can, no, 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 no. I'll reserve my comments for the next meeting. I would respect would, your loss. Okay. Uh, next, uh, we have bills and claims. I'm sorry. Bills and claims uh, for fiscal year 21-2022 of $151,916.73. Motion. Motion. Okay. Hey. Is there a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Yes. Opposed? Yes. Motion carried. Could we, uh, okay, we have a resolution uh, of, for the appointment of police chief, um, which I, who I will introduce in a moment. Um, the resolution before you, uh, I believe you have read. Um, it was presented uh, to the uh, police chief. Uh, with uh, some minor changes, um, and um, I believe that uh, we all support the resolution. Please, I, I can read this, it's kind of lengthy, but do you, do you have it? Do, do you? We all have it? Uh, okay. Um, so, um, um, it's effective. Uh, she'll, uh, start on June 6, 2022, 52-week probation. I'm going to scan this a little bit. It has the duty hours, disciplinary action. Police chief shall report to the mayor any disciplinary action taken against the chief of police by the mayor. <laughs> it's not the right one to read, is it? Uh, <laughs> subsequent to the probation period shall be in accordance with Section 75 of the Civil Service Law of the State of New York. Working conditions, um, off-duty employment, um, any off-duty employment must be pre-approved by the mayor and it goes on. Residency within 30 miles, uh, the person must live uh, uh, to the village of Highland Falls. Uh, health insurance, um, if you opt out of the health insurance, uh, um, uh, you are paid at 30% of the health insurance. Um, clothing allowance, vacation, it's all there for you, for everyone. Days off as far as holidays, New Year's Day, Martin Luther King, President's Day, Christmas, of course, Labor Day, Fourth of July, Veterans Day. Um, compen uh, compensated absences, uh, sick leave, personal leave, bereavement, uh, occupational in in uh, injury, conference leave to go to conferences, retirement, separation. Uh, if anyone in the audience wants me to read uh, the paragraph that goes with any of those words, I will. Um, that kind of, I think that 
pretty standard. Right, yeah. separation, <coughs> I, I, membership fees, those are for the Orange County Police Chiefs Association, Mid Hudson Police Chiefs Association, New York State Association of Chiefs of Police. It, 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 it is kind of standard, uh, but uh, we, we, we ran it by our attorney who uh, made a few minor changes. We ran against the police chief who made a few minor changes that we agreed with, and I, I think we're okay. Um, again, if anyone wants to know anything that of the headings I gave tonight, tomorrow, any day that you want, um, this, is pub this is public. Um, I would like to uh, have a motion with a roll call um, uh, that we accept this resolution. Motion. Second. And roll call. Trustee Guerrero? Yes. Okay. Trustee Alward? Yes. Trustee DeSalvo? Yes. Trustee Phillips? Yes. Mayor D'Onofrio? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you so much. Um, the next, uh, for uh, just a, a short period here, I, I want to uh, uh, commend uh, Jason Torpy, Sergeant Jason Torpy. Uh, Sergeant Torpy took over the department. Um, uh, for me, I think it probably is uh, one of the hardest stretches of time um, that we had. In particular, I'm speaking of COVID. Uh, Jason and I, uh, for almost two years, uh, Meet, met, have met every day. Um, uh, a lot of it for more than a year. Our meetings every day uh, were about COVID. COVID in the inside the department, which was affected. COVID outside the department in this community, which it also affected. Where many were sick and some passed. Um, I uh, through Jason. Uh, Torpy, Sergeant Torpy, into the budget process, um, for which he did uh, very well. Uh, another uh, uh, issue during his time was staffing. Uh, yes, COVID uh, uh, upset uh, next door quite a bit. We still had to have two men on, two women on, uh, two police officers on at a time, even while COVID was going on. And it was a juggling act. Um, we would spend hours, not every day, but we met every day, and sometimes it was there were long meetings to make all this happen. Um, so he did a, a very, very good job. Um, he continued. Um, he continued. Sergeant Torby continued what we all want for all departments, but we're talking about the police department to move forward. It continued. Throughout this whole ordeal of two years, uh, it continued to move uh, forward. Uh, so I know, uh, Chief, that uh, he, uh, and we have spoken, uh, that he will be a good resource uh, for you. Uh, and I will also, ahead of time, tell you he's extremely dependable. He's a good guy. Yes? Um, yes. So, uh, Mark, if you could come over here for a second. Um, so, I highlighted, you have a great resume, by the way. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I, I just highlighted so folks, because I, I want uh, the community to know what we have here. Uh, this was a lengthy process. Um, we had to work off the county list. That's the only way we could hire a chief. Uh, and they're ranked by, uh, interviews are ranked by score. Um, and uh, Tamara was uh, uh, at the top of that list. Your professional training, uh, FBI Academy. That's, that's, a, that's a very good one. Master instructor. That's great, because we need that. Uh, labor law issues. Hopefully we don't have any of those. <laughs> they cost a lot That's of right. money. <laughs> uh, conflict resolution. I love that. I don't love that. That's great to have. Uh, police supervisors course. Instructor development course. Tell me what this is. I meant to ask you before. We taught radar later for our MPs. Okay. Okay. We continue this. And now. at the Orange County Police Academy. Sure. Not much. I don't. This, you, this is a great resume. Well, thank you. 
Right. And I actually know this already, uh, having uh, three or four meetings with you. You're, com you're, you're confident. Yes, I am. We're going to have to figure out a way to disagree sometimes. Yeah, we will. <laughs> not a problem. Maybe that comes up that's in a conflict a resolution. Yeah, meeting. that's not a problem. <laughs> that will happen. Teach me. <laughs> uh, but uh, confident, competent, dedicated. I know th uh, those three words, I highlight them because I got that from you already. Yeah. That's good. Let's see, what else did I highlight? I progressed through the ranks to become the first female lieutenant in the county. The first female lieutenant in the county. I'm an FBI National Academy graduate, graduate and hold a bachelor's degree. Now, what I want to point out here, being she was the first lieutenant, uh, uh, who was that with? Orange County Sheriff's Office. Orange County Sheriff's She is the first female full-time full police chief in Orange County. And Holland Falls did that. Yes, she did. Okay. Master Instructor Status Training Director. I love this one. Grant writing. I do. Grant writing. We all love that sitting up there. I'm sure you do. <laughs> uh, juvenile investigator. I love working with kids. We have kids here that need you. I love working with kids. Okay? Love you. Accreditation. That's what we want. Number one on my list. That's what we want. That is a big, I don't think someday you're going to come to a meeting and explain to the public what that means for okay. us. Not a problem. That is big. Mm -hmm. Happen. Community relations is one of the best types of crime prevention. That's true. That is correct. You need the community to help you fight that crime. How true. You work for Catholic Charities? I did. Orange County Sheriff's Office? That's correct. Same one. Patrol Division for ju uh, Juvenile Investigations? Mm -hmm. Deputy Sheriff. All this good stuff. And now we have it. So, uh, this is your badge. Um, I hope you wear it for a very, very long time. Uh, I will tell you something ahead. I have no problem saying this because it, it, it's true and it will happen. You will come in not a long period of time to love the village of Falls. It's, it's, it's a special place. For real. Not, I'm not just saying that. Okay? So, um, you get your uniforms, and you're going to put that right there. Okay. Thank you. Oh, oh, so important. I, I'm, I apologize. Introduce these young folks here. So, yes. My mother, Darla. Now, if you don't get up right now, you have to stay for this. All right, then we're leaving. For this. <laughs> yeah, I get it. The mayor's going to say goodbye. Oh, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I know you. Good, how are you? How are you? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you, sir. Okay. Next on the agenda is to approve the meetings, the, the minutes, I'm sorry, the minutes uh, from a regular meeting we had on May 2, 2022. Second, Mr. Phillips, motion. You okay, Gina? All in favor? Yes. Opposed? Motion. I'd like to have authorization to sign a member participation agreement. This is an annual thing we do every year with Comp Alliance for Workmen's Compensation Insurance for fiscal year 22-23. So moved. Second. All in favor? Yes. Yes. Opposed? Motion carried.
next on the agenda is uh, I am, would like to have authorization to sign a contract with a rod Construction Company. They're the contractor for the On the Ore uh, sewer line project upon contract review by the village attorney, which uh, is done. It's done. Motion. Is there a second? Second. Second. Trustee Guerrero. Uh, uh, I don't want to call it a discussion, but it, uh, I think that's what Robert's rule says, discussion. It's really a question, at least. Um, uh, a few days ago we talked and uh, we're, um, after reviewing the contract, the village is totally protected uh, for something that breaks down the road. Yes, I'm I don't mean, concerned about the bonds, right. exclusion of special damages and liquidated That's damages, right. And you're okay. But, well, I reviewed the insurance, so if there is an issue, uh, it would be covered by the contractor's insurance where the Villages in the, is also insured and may be insured. So we're okay. I did go over the amount of that insurance. He felt that it was sufficient. Okay. Anything okay. So was Thank you. That, that was what I was. Yeah. That's where I was. Okay. Thank. So we have a motion. We have a second. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. Was the contract in the file or no? Okay. Downstairs. No. Email. Yeah. Okay. When I get it from Tom. Oh. I at least had it first to review. Are your, Alicia, cool with it? Yeah, I'm good with it. Are you good with it? Yeah. I, I, my question was. I was very concerned about that language, um, but I did speak with uh, Todd and back again just today to make sure that we were covered under the. You know, the and were they putting a surety bond up or? They yeah, they're putting it as well. It's a performance bond, right. so it's a surety. How bond. much do you know? One point four nine five. So basically, the eight hundred. Pretty much the project. The project. Okay. So my right. concern was if something happened during the project construction. Are we covered? Are we covered? And we are covered Good. with the contractors. Okay. Thank you, sir. I have a motion. I have a second. All in favor? Yes. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. I would like to have authorization to sign a right-of-way agreement with Sini Cutson on Regina Road. This is at the dead end of Regina Road. Sini Cutson bought the ALO property, which is across the street from the dead end of Regina Road. And uh, the folks at the dead end wanted some type of turnaround because people that end up at that dead end go into one particular driveway uh, all the time. Uh, uh, and so. Um, there were several meetings with uh, on site at the dead end of Regina. Uh, there was an area picked out, and uh, the trees were taken down. It was great. It's, the tree stumps were taken out. There's item four there now, so it's a nice turnaround, and the residents are happy at the end of Regina Road. May I have a motion? And the right of way agreement was uh, reviewed by the village attorney. May I have a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. May I? Uh, all in favor? Yes. Yes. Opposed? Motion carried. I would like to have authorization to sign the MS4, which is a storm water. It's an annual report that the government has us do. Again, it's about storm water, uh, MS4, per the recommendation of the village engineer. Motion. Second. All in favor? Yes. yes. Opposed? Motion carried. Um, as you know, uh, our fiscal year ends May 31, and so towards the last week of May, we always have a special meeting just to pay bills. Uh, matter of fact, it'll most likely be downstairs. I need to have three of us there, um, and again, it's just to pay bills for the end of the year. Um, it'll be on Thursday, May 26 at 9 a.m., so right now, do you think two of you can make it? I mean, I hope you all make it, but I need at least two of you. Is there any way, um, will it conflict if we go to 9.30? There's no conflict at 9.30. I have a so I can't make it. I'll be there. Okay, great. Trustee Guerrero, Trustee DeSalvo, for sure. And uh, Brian has another commitment. Gary is probably working. And so we, as long as we have three, okay? 9.30. Yeah. Set, so I need a motion to set the date for the uh, special meeting to pay bills for Thursday, May 26 at 9.30 a.m. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? 
Yes. yes. Opposed? Motion carried. Okay. So I'd like to set a, uh, a, a, a uh, public hearing on the Community Development Block Grant 2023. We go after these Community Development Block Grants every year. Uh, we're, we're pretty successful, mostly successful. We've gotten two in the past. The last two, I think, were for the Senior Citizen Building. Um, but I'd like to have a, uh, this at a, a public hearing um, application submission for, uh, and at the public hearing we can listen to suggestions for June 6th at 7 p.m. at the Senior Center. So June 6th is our regular meeting, so we'll be there anyway, and on the agenda will be a public hearing. Um, so this is just setting the date. Um, but uh, be uh, thinking about a project. Um, the project has to be in a low income area, and they're pretty strict on what low income means, and uh, for ADA uh, requirements. Uh, which an elevator for this building um, could uh, possibly be a project. Um, the uh, folks from Community Development out in Goshen at the county are coming over uh, to look at specifically an elevator. Um, they're interested. So um, that'll happen before June 6th and I'll report to you. But could I have a, uh, a motion to uh, do a public hearing on a project on June 6, 2022 at 7 p.m. at the Senior Citizen Center. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, next we have a request for administrative relief of the moratorium for 341 Main Street. Um, I, I'm assuming, can I assume that some emails were you had received from Rick or I'm not sure it was a pretty comprehensive yeah. explanation yeah yeah um, so he, he did say that uh, so, uh, the developer Rickman opposing you who has several properties here we all know that is asking for an exemption for uh, uh, really, uh, for the moratorium, so he can start uh, the project in the church that he has recently bought, and in that uh, lengthy explanation of uh, of uh, why he would want that exemption, he, he does say a lot of benefits, and this is why I'm for it. It's a lot of benefits for the community. Um, you know, he's going to employ 20 plus people. Uh, it's going to be added to the tax roll in excess of $700,000 in assessed value, whereas it was a church before. Uh, so that's uh, over $30,000 a year in taxes that we benefit from. He wants to be open from October of this year as a restaurant and two apartments. And the other thing is the moratorium issue of uh, the zoning amendment. He far exceeds that 2,500, if that is what we're going to go for, square feet needed per one well. Uh, he exceeds that by, by 16,000 or 15,000. So it doesn't really, the moratorium that we set because of the zoning amendments doesn't really apply to him regardless of what decision we make. So I'm, I'm for it. Um, is it the moratorium over this month? No, uh, no, June. I'm going to go over that next. But yeah, June. Elise, do you have... You don't have to. Do you have anything to add? The only thing I would comment is that um, under the moratorium exemptions, you, the village board, were supposed to receive at least a site plan, hmm. which you did not get. Hmm. So there is no way at this point to know whether or not uh, the building complies with the zoning. Now it is pre-existing non-conforming. However, I would note that uh, Mr. Manaposi calls out that he's going to be adding a kitchen to the rear, I believe, of the church. And the existing property is only one foot, 1.8 feet away from the property line. The problem here is that if you expand 
for increase a non-conforming area, you are required to get a variance. You don't just carry forward all of the existing non-conformities that were in place before the zoning. Elise, if uh, I'm I, I'm sorry, I apologize. Uh, if we were to grant this ex uh, waiver, he still all these requirements, whatever they may be, the the the, the, the side yard with the kitchen not far from the property line, except he still would have to go to the planning and the zoning. He would have to go to the zoning board, the planning board. Yeah. Well, does it? I, I don't um, necessarily disagree with what some of the things uh, Trustee Guerrero said. A um, couple quick questions and not to put you on the spot. Um, even though we have the moratorium in place, I think it was officially April 25th, right? Mm -hmm. um, does it preclude anyone from, does it preclude anyone from starting the process with the planning board or the building department? Yes, it's stuck. Mm -hmm. You can't even. You cannot continue. Well, there, there are exemptions, but not for a project like this. Not so for if you're project. building a single or two-family house, if you're, I mean, there so are. So if he was already in front of the board, it it, it just stops until it would, stop. it would just stop. Okay. The, this um, uh, kind of related to that, uh, the moratorium law, which I have here, it's a few pages. Page 2, Section 3, Exemptions to Moratorium, which is what he's asking. Um, he's asking for administrative review. Well, that's what we can do. Yes. Yeah. So, going through these, he doesn't really uh, meet any of the reasons that a waiver would be given. Uh, but that doesn't, you know... Listen, listen, we all like the project. Uh, we all want the project. Um, um, uh, I don't, I, I, whoever, I forget who said now, it, it doesn't really fall into the reason that we have a moratorium. Um, we were uh, looking at the square footage for the, for the, uh, for the reason of the moratorium. Uh, right, or does this, or does square footage affect that project? I can't really know that. Yeah, because we don't have a site plan. Okay. But I mean, the assumption is he says that it doesn't. I don't think he's. I you know. I mean, we don't we don't know. We don't know for don't know. sure. I don't think he's adding residential to the church. I think there's already residential right. in the house. I don't yeah, right. know that he's. I don't know if he's modifying that. So, so my next question is, is how, you know, how close are we? I know that I know why we did the moratorium because we were trying to work on, and, and we had discussed this briefly. Um, you know, how close are we to figuring out, or do we are we ready to make a decision on what the board feels okay. the square footage so will be acceptable? Okay, so so uh, that's a, even, that's a kind of a little bit of a separate issue, and I was going to bring that up next, but it's fine. We can we can well, then we can no no we can make. The, or, the moratorium is lifted on June 24th. We can't do it sooner than that. You would have to pass the local law. Yeah. Now. But by the time you get through the local law process, it'll be June Yeah, okay. June 24th is very soon. Now, uh, correct. Correct. Um, I mean, a local law takes 30 days just to, yeah. just to go to the county court. And I don't, uh, Melly. I don't know. I don't have what he sent, but um, I'm not sure he's before the planning board. Uh, no, in fact, this is why he wants to get us to uh, give him a waiver. I think it's because he's going to the planning board this week, and in order for the planning board to act on anything, we have to give him a waiver. Right. That's my understanding. I think uh, you're right. <coughs> The village board shall require the developer slash applicant to submit evidence that the approval or permit will be issued during the moratorium time period. Uh, I, I think we all know how government moves. There's no way. There's he's <laughs> going to get that I wish it moved that quick. Yeah. 
I, I, One more thing regarding the zoning uh, issue as to why we even started this moratorium. He explains that he says this project only has two apartments proposed on 0.63 acres or 27,721 square feet, which yields a residential density of one unit for 13,721 square feet, which is far more than the lot areas per unit that is being considered for the downtown, far more than the 2,500. So he is well within that number. I think it's good for the community. You know, one of the things he did was he even donated steps to Sacred Heart, and his mission is to make, to make Main Street mm -hmm. look desirable, and I'm, I'm for that. That's always been my mission, too. None of, uh, I think we know this, none of Rick's projects, he's got three on the drawing board, if you will, would be bad, would be negative for the village. Um, if done correctly, and that's up to local laws and codes and policies and all of, all of that. Um, so I, I I don't disagree. So it it um, um, it's I'll go with whatever you all want to do. That's money to our tax uh, to our taxes, and we we don't need to be creative by adding. You know, occupancy taxes and, and hurting the existing businesses now. We just need more businesses in. And he's, uh, I think it's a great opportunity. I would just point out, just so you know, that under your local law joining law, it says that if a use for one or more area variance from the existing zone is, zone is required. Um, the board shall not grant an exception. Are you saying I, where are you at? I, I can't I'm remember. at page 4C. Okay. Four or five. Now, uh, I don't think that precludes you from granting the variance from the moratorium, but I just want you to make if you aware of that language that's in the world. If we, only because I'm, you know, I'm all my, I don't know, maybe some, uh, someone else on the board, I've never run into where you're giving someone an exemption. I've also never seen, we did a short moratorium for a reason, you know, because we, we, we didn't want it to go on indefinitely. Um, but I'm just almost for the, Petitioner's request, does it open him up to anything if we do grant the exemption because based on what we have, it doesn't really fit? Well, let me put it this way. You know what I'm saying? If somebody wanted to file Article 78 on that, uh, you know, it seems to be a common thing in this town, so I'm trying to avoid that for the yeah. Rick. No, I, to answer your first question, you must have an administrator. Right. No, I know that. Right. So, so that's not unusual at all. I don't really see this opening Rick to challenge. The only concern I have is that your local law says that the variance is required and you shall not grant the exemption. So maybe that could present an opportunity to challenge if you do. I will say, though, as an attorney, if the moratorium sunsets on June 24th, by the time someone might file a lawsuit, it will probably be moved. Right. Okay. So, I, I, I mean, that doesn't mean they couldn't do that. That doesn't mean that we wouldn't be, we wouldn't be paying the legal fees, I, but I'm just saying that I know that. Um, probably be moved. I know that there's, there's preliminary drawings on this, because I actually have seen them online, I, you know, on Facebook. Yeah. Um, is there any way, and I'm, this is a question to the board and whoever, if we got some, because it does say we need some kind of rendering of a site plan or something, um, if we could get him to put something together, like, and then we're meeting on the 26th of May, like we could. It's really up to the board. I mean, the only thing I see is this, but maybe there was more. So there's more. That, that was at the planning board, 20% of the site plan. So he's, he is in front of the planning board? I, 
No, 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 no. The last time when he was on the No, it's formal. He's never been there formally. Well, it's not for him to have a special site Do you guys have it? Is my question. I don't think so. I don't think so. No. The answer is no. You know, that way. It, it, it's up to the board. I don't, I, I don't know. Just, um, um, well, um, we we have uh, three options: uh, a motion to approve a, ver uh, a waiver. Uh, two options: a motion to uh, approve the waiver or table. I think it's good for the village. I'd like to make a motion um, to grant uh, and, um, a waiver for administrator relief of the moratorium. I think it's good for the village too, except I want to see a site plan. I want to know any variances that come along. I, 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 I okay. I will, I will, I will second this motion. Uh, let, let's see where it goes and where it goes it goes okay uh, I will also say that uh, to, uh, for me uh, if it doesn't get approved he's right on top of it anyway as far as the calendar goes um, we we're going to put him one month off now a month is, 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 is a month is, 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 is important time you know every day for a developer it costs money but uh Let's see where it goes. So I, I, I will second. May I have roll call? Well, 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 oh, go, ahead. Go, ahead. go ahead. I'm go ahead. sorry. We should. I, I hate doing this because you know we're not. We don't have anything that we would require in the law, right? You're, you're, you're correct. So it, it, it's putting us all in a weird position. Um, and you know, like Tr Trustee Albert said, I, and I, and again, what Trustee Guerrero said, I'm, I'm, I agree with you. Um, and you know we we knew that this project was going to be is is on the is on the stove and um that's why we did a short period of time um for the moratorium um but we have not we have nothing we have no site plan we have even the reasons why we would uh, grant administrative uh relief are you know so i don't want to vote no i don't want to I just looked at our emails. That says he sent us a site plan. That's where I saw it. It's it's attached to all our emails. Site and this is dated. Oh, I got. Yeah, we got a five-page document here. I don't. This is now April 9, 22. He said gave us a site plans for the church, what he wants to do, and everything. Okay. The second email. Well, good. I'm gonna look at it. I'll look at it right now. Then how's that? If we got it. Can I ask you a question? Uh, Regarding on this topic. Uh, Brief, don't no, If I do, Joe, here, okay. listen to me for one second. I'm sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. I know that I upset people when I don't allow this, but once I do it, it just, it's, I'm sorry. I, I mean, the school board doesn't do it. I don't know that you're, the town board doesn't do it. I'm not picking on anyone. It was, Anybody, just, it was on topic. I hear you, Joe, and I would if I I want to, but once I do, I lose. I lose. I, I shoot. Go ahead, Joe. Joe, <laughs> I promise you, sir. Go I'm ahead. Is that the ninth you said, Melanie? Yeah. Go ahead. April. Does it impede Mr. Manicozzi's progress by submitting a site plan? And does it a site plan based on if I understood at least correctly? Is that one thing that would help with the moratorium? Sure. I, it seems like it would give you as something in the, the planning and zoning boards to bite into to see where it's going. And like you said, it's already submitted. I'm kind of really reiterating what you're saying, but what does it impede his progress by asking for a site plan to, to, to help back up your vote? Tonight? Well, well, we, the vote would he, he the vote you're more the vote would be put off for a month. Okay, I appreciate well, that. Thank, thank you. We could even do it. Uh, we could even do it on that right? Well. Let, let, let me let me let me uh, let me throw this out there. Uh, I don't know how this fits into anyone's calendar. No, I know this. This service is not good.
He's planning on going yeah. in front of the planning board this week. I think Thursday, correct? Yes. I yeah. Think so. Joe, is there, is there any way that we can um, say yes to to this? But by the 26, if we all see the site plans by 26, that we could all say yes on the 26. Well, as far as you know, the three of you, you know, that are going to be paying the bills. Yeah, that's what, yeah, yeah. So I mean, so you know, to see us. I, I have to tell you, I, 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 Melanie. Yeah. Are those pictures you want to say that? Okay. I never saw. You know, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I never saw them, but this is dated May 4th, and I don't uh, understand how we got something on the 9th of April. At least you got it, too. The yeah, site plan and everything, you know? Yeah, I to uh, continue this uh, we have a motion and we have a second may I, if, uh, if there's nothing further from the board I'm going to do I'm going to do roll call do you have it did anybody second it or Brian just may. no I don't oh, you, oh that's yeah. right okay is it, uh, roll call please Trustee Guerrero yes Trustee Allen they still have an issue with side plans no Trustee DeSalma so what was it what's the vote so far motion Nothing. to approve an administrative waiver or Property three forty one Street. I, I'm not. I, I'm abstaining from it because I just I, for the reasons why I mentioned before. Trustee Phillips. Yes. Mayor Yes. Three yes. Motion carries. There you go. <laughs> <you>. Okay. <laughs> Next, I have on the thank you. Next, I have. Um, on the agenda is a uh, memo from the uh, village clerk uh, asking, uh, recommending uh, to the board uh, that uh, Lucy uh, um, Brown effective immediately be uh, taken off probation. Um, you have that memo before you. She, uh, I will tell you being here every day, uh, she is 
one of the ladies downstairs, uh, um, and she had to jump into a new job when our uh, we had a person retire, and um, she's working very, very hard to learn, and uh, she's doing very well at it. So uh, I'll just add those comments to the village clerk's comments and um, ask for a motion uh, to uh, complete her, her that her probation be completed. So moved. Second. All, all in favor? Yes. Yes. Opposed? Motion carried. I would like to have uh, every year we go out for uh, to get bids for grass cutting. Two quotes here before us: um, L and L Property Maintenance. It's a local company. Um, is the uh, uh, is the company that's being recommended um, with a low bid of fifteen thousand three hundred and twenty dollars. May I have a motion to approve the recommendation from the street superintendent? So moved. To the low bidder. So second. second by Brian. All in favor? Yes. yes. Opposed? Motion carried. Okay. What I want, what I, what I would like the board to do um, over the next many days, as I have said a, a couple of times with the uh, moratorium, uh, it ends on June 24th. Um, we wanted it short, and uh, we've kept it short, and uh, as we know, time flies, and June 24th will be here before you know it. Now, I bring up June 24th because uh, that's when we can address the zoning change uh, on density. Um, we could not... Uh, change uh if the village attorney is here to correct me we could not change the uh, square footage if we chose to uh to change it until after the moratorium ends um and so uh, to add to that i would like to tell let the board know that on july 4th is a monday which would be our first uh monthly meeting the first monday of the month <clears throat> so we won't meet on the 4th of july and then when I started to uh, uh, ask around and check around as to what date to have it that week, there is no date uh, that week that we can have a meeting. So I'm asking the board uh, that we meet uh, for the first time in July on Wednesday, July 13th. And at that July 13th meeting, which takes the place of July 4th, we'll have a public hearing on the square footage um, issue that we have before us. <clears throat> I would like the board, as they already have, uh, to continue and uh, if you care to talk to me or any anyone else, um, I have talked to the planning board chairman, the zoning board chairman, the building department, uh, some of you um, um, residents. Uh, I've talked to a lot of folks about this. <clears throat> And the numbers that I'm that are coming back actually are uh, um, 350 uh, is a uh, too small of a number. Uh, I have not had anyone say that number to me. <coughs> uh, some folks think that 2500, which is where it is today, um, uh, is the good is the number it should be. Others do not. What I'm getting from a majority of people is somewhere between 850 and 1250. So you can see it's narrowing, it's coming up from 350 and going down from 2500. So be thinking about that number. Uh, we'll have a public hearing, listen to the public, and um, hopefully we can, we can uh, make a decision. Um, there's a possibility, if we can, we could even do it that night after the public hearing. If not, we'll have to do it two weeks later. Um, and that'll tell me. Okay, so here's the problem. <laughs> the local law that was um, published and sent to the county and sent to all of the neighbors said 350 is one if you make it 350 to something substantially less, it has to be done again. It has to be what? It has to be 
re notify to the county. To the county? So if you wish. I Did we do that at least? We talked about that last yeah, week. Did we do that? I have not. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. So there may be an issue or there may not. It depends on what that number actually comes down to. I would hope they would let it be determined by us. Well, they would. And they, yeah. I mean, you, you can always override the, the, the county if they recommend not approving it, but you would need a supermajority to do that. So, um, but not hearing back from them and substantially changing it is a jurisdictional error. All right, so then tell me, uh, okay, I, I respect all that, of course. I believe we won't have an issue with the county, but that's my opinion. I mean, I can reach out to the county, but the sooner you know that number, the better. Are, are you only... Oh, so, what... I mean, 850 to 1,250 versus 2,500 is a big swing. So, uh um, Well, that's what... That's, and I'm not putting words in the mayor's mouth, but that's what you said you've heard. We don't know what we're going to... That it might be fifteen hundred. It might be. Well, well, actually, actually, the village planners do recommend fifteen hundred. So that number's out there too. That's the problem when you have a number from one to two thousand five hundred. <laughs> There's two thousand five hundred numbers. I mean, you know, I, I, you know, I have a call into the county to discuss this. Yeah. Okay. I'm just letting the board know that I haven't heard that, and a substantial change in even fifteen hundred is a substantial. Change. What office is that? So, Elise, what does that do to my uh, calendar? <laughs> well, when, let me ask you a simpler question. It will expire on the 24th, mm -hmm. unless you extend it. So that, that's that. If at the next meeting, for example, you have an idea of where the board wants that number to be, then I can immediately tell the county that. I will, I'm sure I'll have to re-notice it. I, well, notice it. I'm sure I'll have to re-refer it because it's going to be a big change. Could I say that I would ask you to move forward with talking to the county as soon as possible? And then from, oh, well, you're going to, they're going to want an exact number, huh? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Can the board, or let me. Seen a rain okay. Rain. No, there no. Okay, can the board, can we decide, well, we'd have to have a public hearing. I don't want to decide until I, have a, I want to have a public hearing. Well, look, you didn't close the last public hearing, so the public hearing is still open. You, you know, you could let everyone know that it's going to be a topic on 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 the agenda at the next board meeting. And but see, the next board meeting, that's the issue. That's another issue. It's a little monkey wrench that we normally don't have to contend with. Mm -hmm. Our next village board meeting mm -hmm. on paper is July 13th. No, it's June 6th. June 6th? June 6th? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, where am I at? This is May. Well, okay. The, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. No, June 6th. Okay. So, all right. So, we're dealing with June 6th. All right. Let's see. June 6th. So if you reopen this to the public on June, June 6th, 6th and you get a sense on June 6th. Okay, we can do this. Then you've got time. Okay, we can do this. As we talked about, yeah. We can do this. Yeah. Okay, not a problem then. You just jumped ahead to July. Yeah, because you were dealing with July. Yeah, because you were dealing with July. But you still got June. I mean, you said July 4th, but I got so it's on the agenda for July. I don't know what I said. <laughs> we, we would just say, we would just say, you would, the mayor would just say tonight that it's on the agenda for June 6th. Yeah. We'll have a public hearing. We'll have a public hearing so we'll on public on hearing. on density zoning slash density. Uh, we'll reopen the one that we never closed on June 6th. Right. You okay with that, Gina? If I need 14 days' notice, I'm not sure I'll have that. You don't have to really re-notice it because you never, you, you didn't close the public hearing. So I will post it on just the on the website. No. And if you want to put something in the paper, go ahead. You're not okay. locked into that. It's 10 days, by the way. Okay. It's 10 days. So and it's just a reopening. Okay. Um, okay. 
or okay. it's really a continuation of the public hearing is what it really is. Okay, so we're, 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 we're good. Okay. And I, I don't think we'll have a problem with the time because we do have I don't, time. yeah. All right, so you, you okay. So I, 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 want to do, I do want to come back to July for a moment. Our July 4th meeting is canceled, all right? And uh, I will probably hold it on Wednesday, July 13th. If it's good with everyone. If it's not, I, we, can, we can do another date. But we're, get, we're getting, if we keep moving forward, the only thing I'm going to say to you, we'll be on top of the second meeting in July, which is okay too. We had talked about doing one meeting in July and August. Maybe we start in July. <laughs> Do you want this? Huh? I'm, I'm out of town uh, on the 13th. Uh, on the 13th. But okay. I'm here on the 12th, but only if it's just whatever. Yeah, right. It's, it's hard to get a date. What if we do the meeting before the 18th? Is it just not the sole issue? Or is that why you would picking that week? The 13th? Yeah. I mean, our next meeting would be the 18th, right? In July. We right. The, the second meeting. The That's correct. I know. Can we just have the 18th, or do we need something more? Something well, for, more well, for sure, we'll have to have a special meeting, which we do often to pay bills. And I can, we'll figure that. That's an easy one. Even, if, even, if, even though we're meeting on the 18th? Well, we're going to want to pay bills somewhere early in July. Yeah, we're in the quarter months in July. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah. Right. Uh, we can do that. Is that all right? Or does that throw a wrench into what you were saying? <laughs> no, there's no, no. There's no wrenches. So there's no meeting on the 13th? Correct. Okay. There's no meeting on. There's and there's well, no meeting on the left. The, I'm well, sorry, the fourth. Correct. Okay. So, so, have one meeting that month. That's why I don't. I like. It's never easy in public to pick a date. <laughs> We're all busy. That's good. Okay. So we got it. Right. We're okay. 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 All right. I have just a couple short things. And I'm going to move on. I want to talk about the. Uh, Sacred Heart Food Pantry, and I believe these are figures from the Sacred Heart Food Pantry. But you can, you can almost bet that the, the numbers at Holy Innocence Food Pantry are, are the same. Uh, um, these are folks who need uh, uh, food; they need help with food, and uh, a lot of them have children, and uh, they go to both food pantries. At least I hope they do. February the twenty eighth. Uh, once a month, uh, the food pantry, because they get a lot of food from the food bank over in Cornwall, uh, has to provide numbers. So in the month of February, uh, 215 uh, adults were fed, 143 children, 55 seniors, um, and it looks like a total household of 88. Um, just to point out, a year ago, uh, when I said 215 in the month of February two months ago, a year ago it was 13. Uh, 143 two months ago, a year ago it was 14. So you can see how the numbers, and I have the, all the numbers in between, but they go up. The point is the food pantry needs help. We need help with volunteers. We need help with donations of food. Um, uh, if you can't get to the food pantry for years, I have a box in the lobby. You just walk in, put your food in the box, and once a week I bring it to the food pantry. So there's ways to get food to the pantries, okay? Um, they need help. Okay, real quick here. Uh, the Town of Highlands Historical Society is presenting a program, The Way We Were, uh, and it's an illustration talk by the town historian Ronnie Coffey on what life was like in 1872 when our town, Town of Highlands, was born, featuring over 100 images, fashion displays, and artifact uh, guessing game. Uh, um, Joe DeWitt will be having a costume. I didn't know that. Oh. Wow. You're going to dress up as uh, somebody. The Minuteman. The Minuteman. That's what it says. Okay. <laughs> you, you will be at the Holland Falls Library on Saturday, May 21, at noon. Be there. <laughs> I want to see what you put on. All right. I have another one here. Uh, well, this is uh, before here. We had a meeting at 6 o'clock. It was on TV. The Village of Holland Falls Community Power Electricity Supply Program is coming to Holland Falls. The Village of Holland Falls is forming.
Village of Holland Falls Community Power. I think Mr. Ramos is over there. He's the liaison from the board uh, to this company, uh, Community Choice Aggregation. And so uh, if it lowers our electricity bill, uh, all the more. Um, this will be the third year for this uh, uh, for this um, graduation car parade. It started back during COVID um, and it has continued, which I'm very glad about. It will be uh, the James I. O'Neill senior class on Saturday, June 18th. Saturday, June 18th at 6 p.m. They're gonna line up at Rowe Park around the lake, go down Walnut, up West Point Highway, make a left by Southgate, come down Main Street, go back up Walnut, and have a little, uh, uh, some snacks up there. But it's, uh, the cars all get decorated, they, the kids decorate their cars, the families are all out on Main Street, street cheering them on. Um, noise is made and, uh, you know, the, the, the kids feel good. So that's coming on Saturday, June 18th. I want to thank Gene Woodruff and the Garden Club. Um, they each have donated a tree. Gene uh, donated a tree uh, in memory of her husband. Um, and uh, the Garden Club does the Garden cl Club thing and they bought a tree and we put it uh, where the Garden Club wanted the tree, which is, um, some of you may remember the kiosk up the street here. Um, we, it's there, it's beautiful. So we thank uh, the Garden Club and Gene Woodruff. Um, so my last thing is the 4th of July um, I've tried to get some notices in the News of Highlands but to no avail uh, and that's fine that's why I have chosen to do it this way the July, uh, July 4th is 45 days away I've been doing the 4th of July. This will be our 54th year. I've been doing it for 31 years. I always started uh, for all those 30 plus years in January. Um, um, I started this year in January and February and March and April. It's May 16th. Um, I had one gentleman come to one meeting and that was nice. He, a, a nice guy who lives down the street here. He had a lot of suggestions on different activities. I, uh, over the COVID time, um, somehow, I'll never ever be able to explain it, uh, was able by myself to put the 4th of July on. The 4th of July, of course, is the parade. It takes contracting bands, it floats, civic organizations, Anyone who watches the 4th of July Parade knows all the things that are in it, and they just don't show up. They just don't show up on Buffalo Soldiers Field on the 4th of July. No one showed. They, they, you have to contact these people, or they contact you. or. Uh, but that's not happening. Um, the food vendors at Rowe Park, the children's activities at Rowe Park, the DJ at Rowe Park. People want the bed races back. I have a host of events that people want, mostly for children, but not only. Um, um, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen um, by just me doing it. Um, I, I have a tremendous amount, like everyone else does up here on my plate. I did do it for two years by myself. Again, I don't know how. Everyone wants the 4th of July. I haven't sent out donation letters. It's May. I haven't sent out one donation letter. I'm going to put a tomorrow Within a day or two, I'm going to put on channel 23 a date for a meeting. Um, I try to make them on Saturdays because I don't know what folks do at night and sometimes I go to bed and whatever. Uh, we'll see what happens at the next, the next meeting will tell us if we're going to have a 4th of July. The next meeting that I call on a Saturday morning. Um, you know, if I could get 10 people 
and one each person did one thing. Just one thing. Just one thing. We'll have a 4th of July that has been better than any year in the past. That's You have to top a lot of success there. And I know it can be done. So if I can get 10 people that are willing to take on an event, I have a folder for 30 years on each event, contact people. I, I, I actually have it all. I, I have most of it on how to do this. I have the roadmap. So I, I can't pick a date tonight, but I will pick a date tomorrow and put it on Channel 23. Uh, I know some people don't get Channel 23, but maybe pe folks that do, you can tell your friend, hey, let's go to this meeting. Um, let's make the 4th of July happen. Okay, please. The last thing is on June 4th, which is a Saturday, at 10 a.m., this is, anyone, can, any resident can come, but it's really for the Ondora Park residents, and it's about the sewer lining that we approved tonight. I'll have the village engineer I will, there, I'll have the contractor there, um, our inspectors will be there uh, for questions. Uh, we did this uh, a few weeks ago, and it was pretty successful. We did it at the Senior Citizen Center. Uh, there were blueprints and maps. Um, but that was the overall uh, uh, project. Now we're going to zero in on the sewer lining of, in Ondora Park. June the 4th at 10 a.m. at the Senior Center. I will also put that, put that on Channel 23. Um, okay? Melanie. Please. Mr. Come on, guys. I just have a quick uh, couple things. Uh, Bob Mantle uh, looks really good. Our water level's up uh, really good. So um, with the rain and everybody's been uh, using the water properly, so hopefully let's keep that going because the hot months are coming, or hot days. I think by the end of the weekend, so it's supposed to be like 80-something degrees or whatever case is, so it's going to be hot. Um, <clears throat> also, I want to thank, uh, I don't know who done it, but behind Hoffman's hardware, or True Value, um, there was graffiti written on the wall there for a long time. I went by the other day and saw a payment, so I don't know if it was our guys. It was our guys. It was, okay. it was very, very uh, bad. Yeah, it was, um, it was terrible. And as soon as I was notified of it, um, within the, by the next day it was no. painted. So, and, and I saw the paint lines. Very bad. They're doing really good. Uh, the lines are being yes, painted. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it was, it was really good to see that. And then I've been walking around and, I don't know, maybe they don't listen to me, but they might be listening to, you know, Melanie over there. Uh, I haven't seen too much of a, you know, the dogs scatter all over the place. So, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a plus, you know what I mean? So, Melody, that's a police law. Uh, has and, you know. uh, taken it upon herself to handle this position um, amongst you know. a lot of her other duties uh, by actually, I've seen, I saw, I've, I've seen her twice now talking to dogs. You know. so, the dog whisper, right? Yeah. I, I don't know what she says, but they don't poop on the sidewalk. Yep. I can't and, really imagine. And just one last thing. Um, <laughs> I've been driving around uh, looking at, through the areas of uh, lights that are being out, so I am getting those replaced. Uh, but if you see a light out, please email me and just let me know uh, exactly you know where it is. There's two tags on the pole. You can send me tags, and you can see it's across the street from you know so and so, you know Perry Avenue or whatever the case is, or Church Street, my house or whatever. Uh, let me know, and then I'll put that into the dispatcher, and she will get a hold of Orange and Rockland because. I see a lot of that are out, a couple on Center Street I called in, a couple on uh, Roe Park, um, and then they finally did the one behind the seniors uh, building also, so that's done. Those were called in. So, yes, yep, they're all done. So if you make a call and let me know, uh, if you're out uh, at nighttime and you see it, please just let me know. But and that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, two, two quick things. Um, one, we passed, um, I think maybe it was last meeting or the meeting before, uh, uh, e-waste collection that the town is sponsoring in lot 2 in Highland Falls on Saturday, June 11th, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Televisions, computers, printers, copiers, fax machines, cell phones, VCRs, DVDs, etc. Uh, again, January, excuse me, June 11th, uh, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, a shout out to the West Point Highland Falls Rotary Club. Um, we were out uh, this weekend to pick trash up on 9W. 
successfully. Uh, no one got hit by any cars, thankfully. Uh, thank to the village PD and the town PD for their support. Um, and there was one other thing. Jim, did you want to bring up? Yeah, I'll touch base on okay. if you wish. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Public comment. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, uh, trustees. I have been speaking with a few of the trustees on the board. Um, in the past, we had a very successful village of Highland Falls fish on fishing derby for the kids. Uh, COVID kind of threw a monkey wrench into that. Um, National Outdoor Day is June 11th. I heard there's an event on the 4th. There's one on the 18th. We're right smack in the middle. That's perfect. So what we're looking to do is have the uh, fishing derby for the kids over at Rope Park again, uh, ages 4 to 15. A lot to get done in a little bit of time, but I got a lot of help up here uh, that have already uh, said that uh, they're committed to doing that. I've reached out to some of the people that help with registration as well, and I got fish rangers from a few of the uh, clubs in the Orange County Federation of Sportsmen that are going to come down and help as well. Uh, also reached out, and we've got some more donations of bicycles for the kids, uh, which is great. Um, we, we're what we will do is give them all a bucket. Um, well, first 50 will get a bucket or a bag, and it'll have some bait in it, hook sinkers. We'll have guys around the lake and gals that'll help. Uh, if you don't know how to uh, bait a hook or something like that or how to take the fish off, uh, we'll be doing all of that. And again, uh, we'll give them a hot dog, you know, a little bag of chips, soda if they're allowed, water if not, um, and I think it'll be a great event. So, if anybody, uh, you know, would like to come and help, please contact me. Uh, we, we'll always find something for you to do. Um, and it's going to be June 11th. Registration should be at 8 o'clock. It'll start at 9, and it'll be over by 11. Short and sweet. Thank you so much. Are you looking at how much we need to do this? So, monetarily. Right. So, I have some uh, requote, uh, requests for quotes on the things that we are going to need and the trustees here have those pages so i we're working on getting that in yeah um really quick just to add we have you know we we talked about always having something in the youth programs that we have in the budget this year we put a little more than we normally have um, in the past for this particular village sponsored event i think we spent a thousand dollars yeah was it twelve hundred Somewhere around there. I mean, we were looking and basically at basically it was just for some food and drink mm -hmm. um, and some of the prizes. Right, and, and the bait and hooks and stuff for the kids. So um, it would come out of youth, a youth program. It's a youth day. Um, we don't charge residents of the community or the, the children of the community. Um, and, and Jim, we had 50 families show up at the last year. Right. Year. So, it's, there was more than 50 kids there, you know, uh, 50 families, some kids, you know, families had two kids, three kids, whatever. Yeah. I don't foresee, I don't foresee, even though some prices have increased, I don't see us spending anywhere near $1,500, but I'm, there's talking to a couple of establishments, most of the bank, about see what we get donated to, so there's going to be probably donations as well, so it'll probably be under that number. Uh, Jim, not for tonight, but we are talking about uh, we are talking about expanding this. Uh, for the moment, I'll call it Youth Day. Correct. That's not the title. I'm just Correct. throwing something out. No, no. But uh, we're going to we um, learning how to do uh, learning so how to do kayaking, so learning how to put a tent up, me, learning. Mayor, let me touch on that. So, if I could, please. So you're absolutely correct. Um, we know all kids don't fish. Right? So there's other things for the kids to do. So as far as kayaking, like you just brought up, we were looking to do kayaking 101, uh, proper safety uh, ways to get in and out of kayak, what you're supposed to wear, et cetera, et cetera, on that. We were also looking at you know, swing for the fences, maybe have the kids over there with a little home run derby at the Little League field. Um, basketball, uh, maybe a little free throw contest, or just how to, how to shoot free throws. You know what I mean? Um, other things, I spoke with a few of the scouts, and they would love to come down and do Camping 101. Uh, all of these would be like just one, two hour windows, uh, so it could turn into a whole weekend. And to top it off at the end, Mr. Mayor, we were looking at possibly doing a picnic in the park. And it's something that Aaron does right now with uh, 
the, the rec department, and they have a uh, movie night. So we could do picnic in the park and movie night. Um, all things great for the kids, and it would be something that's going to gear them for uh, when they're getting out of school and for summer events. So if we can work on some of those, I think it would be great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, uh, Ron Malachat, Harry Abner. Um, I want to congratulate the board on hiring a new police chief. Uh, sounds a great resume. I think it's a good hire, and it's going to be could be a great addition to uh, the village. Uh, I would ask, though, that this new administration, the police administration, that maybe we could get some reporting out of out of there. And I would ask the trustee who who uh, is the police liaison. To, to to give us some reports that I, I want to know what the the level of crime in our in our community is versus hearing rumors in the neighborhood from people just saying stuff. I'd like to know I'd like to know how many calls come into four nine one one versus nine one one. We can we can give you that. How, how much how, how much uh, parking revenue do we collect on a weekly basis, a monthly basis? So if we could if we could uh, have that, I think the whole community we, we, it would build trust with the no 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 question about the it. Police chief. No question, and I, I appreciate you asking for that. And yes, we will do it. We we no excuse. We we would get those monthly reports, if you will, different categories of crime. Uh, how much money was taken in for the month of March in meter fines, meter uh, meter money. Mileage of, dip of yeah. each police car. Um, uh, no excuse, but uh, with COVID, and then I didn't. We didn't have a, a, a chief, and I, you know, Jason did such a such a great job. But some things did fall that need to be put okay. back. You're just talking about going forward. Yeah, that's immediately. All. You got it. You 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 got it. That's that's an easy one to tell you. Thank you. Anyone else? Mike, you can speak. If you want. Oh oh, that's what I want. I'm, that was the other. That was. That's the other thing. Uh, a meeting uh, or two ago, uh, we talked about the water and sewer rates, and um, Mike, uh, who was in the audience, had uh, commented on the sewer rate. If we, if we adjust the water, um, naturally the sewer rate goes up, and I believe I had said uh, no, um, which is it was incorrect. Um, and I, at the time, I I kind of knew that in my brain, but it's just that we have to go through a little a step. To reduce the sewer rate, so we talked to the treasurer, talked to the mayor. Um, we're in the process of that. We have, a, we have, I don't want to say a lot of time, but we have time because the new rate doesn't really take effect until later this year. So we, what we have to do is uh, have a, re, uh, a public hearing and then pass a resolution to change it. But we, preliminarily, I think we were talking anywhere from five to ten percent off of the 185, and that's preliminary. Uh, so instead of 185, it'd be either 175 or 180. So we don't. So you didn't have an increase to the sewer. We were just trying to affect the water rate. That was the other I, thing. I met I mean, with I met with the treasurer on this issue more than once, and uh, you, we will on one of the agendas uh, be lowering the. If we uh, we will be lowering the, the sewer rate. So um, that'll be a first, but we will be lowering it. I'm not looking to for more money at this. Yes, yeah, change. Yeah, local law. Yeah. So yes. Okay. Is there anything else? Okay. I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Yes. Opposed? I never had anyone vote no.